Two recent court cases have revealed allegations of staff members within the South Dakota Department of Corrections and a county jail who have crossed the line and developed relationships with inmates. I-team reporter Beth Gordon looks into those allegations and why the family of one murder victim is now raising questions. The South Dakota Department of Corrections Staff Code of Ethics states that an inappropriate relationship is not allowed emotionally, romantically, financially, or sexually with an offender. The DOC even requires staff to sign a pledge that they will not engage in inappropriate behavior with inmates. It appears an encounter is more alluring for some staff than the risk of losing their job, a $4,000 fine, or even two years in jail. On September 6, the Bonham County Grand Jury filed charges against Cassandra Gelsma of engaging in sexual acts prohibited between prison employees and prisoners. Three witnesses testified, including the inmate involved, Heath Weirdsma. Other DOC staff said Gelsma was in charge of the security cameras in prison. Her attorney is requesting any video evidence to back up the charge. Another inappropriate relationship surfaced at the sentencing hearing for Jackson Phillips on September 8th. An investigator reviewing calls from the Minnehaha County Jail concluded Jackson started a relationship with a nurse at the jail in September of last year. Phillips received a life sentence for the strangulation death of Randy Gerlach. Gerlach's sister Kylie learned of the jail relationship at the hearing. It's another layer of pain to process. I don't know who in their right mind as an employee would even want to take that step and even put themselves in to such a position, you know, knowing what he's in there for. She questions Phillip's motives. Is that how he could potentially make an escape plan? While Phillip's relationship did not lead to additional charges, in the state prison system, an offender involved in sexual misconduct can be put on restrictive housing for up to 10 days and loss of privileges for up to 30 days. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. We have reached out to both the jail and the Department of Corrections. Warden Mike Matson of the Minnehaha County Jail says the Jackson Phillips and jail nurse tip was forwarded to the Department of Criminal Investigation and nothing criminal was found. The nurse is no longer employed through the medical contractor for the jail. We will let you know about the response from the Department of Corrections when we hear back from them.